inequalities characterizing equilibria. We begin by characterizing the equilibria for the market and prime in terms of a system G of inequalities in the following sets of non-active variables. 1, pi 1, pi 2, pi 3 until pi m plus m for the prices to x i, m plus i for the demand of uh, consumer i for the m plus i's good. 3, z k equals to z k 1, z k 2 until z k n in r plus to the n. Standing for the inputs used by the case production sector. And for Q, K, little o, K, for the output of the good, the little o, K, by the case producer. Now, pi m plus i times x, i, m plus i, which is greater than or equal to the summations of pi j times w, i, j, summing with index j, starting from 1 to n for 1 less than equals to i less than equals to m, and the q, k, little o, k, which is less than equals to f k of z k for one less than equals to k less than equals to l plus m pi little o k which is less than equals to c k of pi one pi two pi three until pi n for one less than equals to k less than equals to l plus m and uh, the summations of uh, z k j summing for o k which is less than equals to the summations of uh, w i j summing for o i plus the summations of q, k, j, summing for o, k, such that little o, k equals to q, for 1 less than equals to j, less than equals to n, and uh, x, i, m plus i, which is less than equals to q, l plus i, m plus i, for 1 less than equals to i, less than equals to m. Here, c, k function denotes the kth producer's unique unit cost function, which depends only on the prices of the first n goods. Evidently, any equilibrium is a feasible solution to the system of inequalities G. What is not so evident is that any feasible solution of G is an equilibrium. To see this, we first note that the sets of inequalities 6.12 and 6.13 imply that no producer can make positive profit we have the summations of pi j times z k j, which for summing for o j, which is less than equals to n, which is greater than equals to pi of uh, little o k times q k little o k for each producer k. Adding up these inequalities, as well as the inequalities 6.10, we get a certain inequality that says that the cost of the consumer and the producer demands is greater than or equal to the cost of uh, the initial endowments and the producer outputs. Whereas by multiplying each inequality in 6.13 and 6.14 by the corresponding price and adding up these inequalities, we get that the cost of the consumer and the producer demands is less than or equal to the cost of uh, the initial endowments and producer outputs. This implies that the two costs must be equal. From this, it follows that the summations of pi j times z k j, summing for all those j which is less than or equal to n, is equal to pi o k times q k little k for each producer k. Each production plant makes zero profit, since uh, 6.12 ensures that profit maximization is well defined. These are optimal production plans. Furthermore, we must have uh, equality in 6.10. Xi m plus i is the demand of good m plus i at price pi. Since uh, conservation of goods is guaranteed by 6.13 and 6.14, we conclude that any solution of G is an equilibrium.